What's up everybody, it's Chip Walton. I'm out here in the snow, shoveling with Jonas Walton. He loves to clean off the car. Whoop, whoop! Tell him what you're doing, Jonas. Okay, silent treatment. Just wanna tell y'all, man, I just wrapped up probably one of the coolest brew day experiences of my life, honestly. And there's gonna be a lot more video coming out about this, both on Chop and Brew and probably some Northern Brewer channels. But I ganged up with a bunch of the dudes from the St. Paul Homebrewers Club. They brought their big brew system, which is kind of like a 20 gallon boil kettle, 30 gallon mash, I can't remember, it's giant. And they brought that to Northern Brewer to brew Sammy Claus. Y'all know how important that beer is to me and my beer fandom. A couple of the guys in this group consider that kind of like a bucket list beer. So we finally made it happen. We got really great technical advice from Imperial Yeast. They sent us a prop of L49 Frosty, which is their Zurich Lager strain, which has never been commercially available, but is custom built. It's from the brewery that brews Sammy Claus. And then we talked to Drew... Beecham, whose Falcon Claws recipe, uh, it's not just his, it's his club, Maltos Falcons, recipe has kind of been like the, the standard bearer for people trying to brew a homebrew version of this beer for many, many years. And then Drew also kind of updated that in more recent years with a simplified version, which is what we went after. I can't wait for y'all to see this video. 64 pounds of malt. We ended up yielding like 16 gallons of wort that was about on average 11 20 11 25 we're pitching frosty at a bunch of it <clears throat> um excuse me and it was just unreal to watch the saint paul club kind of only four of the members three of the members juggling the numbers figuring it out um how do we get such a giant starting gravity out of this beer specifically with all malt we're not talking about adding a bunch of dme and sugar, candy syrup. We had all those things on standby. We ended up getting it done with all malt for the most part. We did add some candy syrup to a little bit of it, just honestly to see what it does, but the bigger portion of it, we pulled off with all grain. Shout out to Drew Beecham, shout out to Maltos Falcons for troubleshooting and perfecting this recipe over the years. Um, yeah, I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited, but now begins the fermentation. We've got this divvied out into a bunch of three gallon batches. We're gonna be oxygenating it three times at pitch and then two kind of staggered oxygen bursts. Uh, we're gonna to try to run it in the 50s to the mid 50s. It's exciting. Like y'all know I've brewed Sammy Claus before, but it was kind of like a hot mess patchwork. This seemed way more dialed in. They were hitting some boils with this stuff. I mean, we boiled for 90 minutes, but like, because it's a dry Wisconsin, I mean Wisconsin, winter day as you can tell here in Minnesota with the snow and the shoveling that like we were probably evaporating like crazy. So yeah, our uh, pre-boil gravity of 1090 still somehow got up to like 1120. So yeah, we're aiming for a 14% beer. Imperial yeast, get back up, back up, back up. Imperial yeast frosty strain should get us there because it's meant for this beer diastatic lager strain uh we're gonna push this son of a gun into 14 percent for sure so expect a legit chop and brew episode there's actually gonna be a 12 beers of christmas video that kind of recaps this with some video and then in about a year from now there'll be some tasting notes what do you think jojo what do you think jojo merry christmas all right all right Happy Sammy Claus Day. Happy weekend, everybody. Catch you on the flip-flop. The chip-chop. I'll catch you on the chip-chop. Can you say chip-chop? Chip-chop. Say it again. Chip-chop. <laughs> <laughs>